Are you ready? And check out the books real quick. Okay, because we're gonna do our video now. You ready? Hi everyone. Welcome or welcome back to Novel Idea. My name is Dia and today it's Tag Tuesday, but I have been tagged in the last couple of days for something, but I haven't been tagged until then. And I want to think about those tags a little bit before I jump into them. So I am going to do a quick book haul because I have gotten quite a few in the last month um, through the library sales. And so I'm just gonna take you through them really fast. And um, one of them I did order from Thrift Books, I think. Two, two I ordered from Thrift Books. And one of them I'm not very happy with. <laughs> so, oh, let's just get started and um, see how quickly we can get through this. Put this up here so Poppy doesn't get into it. No, you gotta lie down because mama has got to record. So you gotta lie down. You gonna get on my lap? Okay. Um, so the first one is one that I actually just picked up this morning. <laughs> This is Lloyd Alexander's The Baker Queen. I really, really love Lloyd Alexander's Pridane Chronicles. I love the Arcadians that he wrote. And this looks like just another one in that fantasy realm that I'm really gonna enjoy. So, Lloyd Alexander's The Baker Queen, you can see it was 25 cents and it's just a little, little paperback. I don't know anything about it. In fact, most of these I probably don't know too much about. Um, I got this one. I'm gonna cover up the address on here. This morning also, this is the Canadian Geese Quilt. This is by Natalie Kinsey Warnock and it's illustrated by Leslie Bowman. And I I uh, also don't know anything about this. It just sounded very sweet. It has beautiful kind of charcoal illustrations in it. And so I just wanted to pick it up because it looked like something I would enjoy. All right, and then I found this beautiful copy of A Child's Christmas in Wales. This is by Dylan Thomas, but it's illustrated by one of my favorite illustrators of all time, and that is Trina Shart Hyman. And she is exceptional at what she does. This is actually one of my favorite Christmas stories to revisit. And so I was very excited to be able to get this copy of A Child's Christmas in Wales. I picked up a Larry McMurtry book simply because several of the booktubers that I follow really like Larry McMurtry. I read Lonesome Dove, just the first book of Lonesome Dove, because uh, I, I think it is a series. I'm not positive about that. But I read Lonesome Dove, and I was considerably younger when I read it. It was probably 30 years ago for me. And um, needless to say, I, I don't think I loved it. I didn't dislike it, but I didn't love it. I did like the movie TV series. I'm not sure what, what it was, whether it was a mini series or whether it was a movie. But anyway, I picked up Crazy Horse by him, and I thought that next year, next summer, during the, what did they call it? The, like, it was, it was during June, and I think it was just like 
reading westerns, but I thought this might work for that. Crazy Horse is actually from our area. He's somebody that I studied in school, and I want to read this and get Larry McMurtry's take. Little tiny book. Won't take long. This is actually a book that I considered putting on my shorty September list, and uh, I didn't because I didn't own it at the beginning of September, but I own it now. And that is Big Fish. And I actually got this at Goodwill. Um, and I have seen this movie. I think I was confused by this movie when I saw it again, when I was quite a bit younger. Um, and I have a friend who absolutely loves this story. So I'm going to give it a try because it was 25 cents. <laughs> and then I picked up a copy of The Prophet. I have read portions of this throughout the years. And I like, what is it, Gib Gibran, Khalil Gibran. I like his... The, his lyrical quality to his writing. Uh, I don't always agree with what he says, but I want to, I still want to read through this and um, just listen to that lyricism uh, in my head as I read. Another little tiny short one. Um, my granddaughter is learning how to read right now, and I found a really nice copy of Frog and Toad are Friends. And so I picked this up. Funny, because I just posted on my Instagram account today uh, about corduroy pants that uh, Frog and Toad are wearing. <laughs> it's a very fall kind of book. Um, I also found at Goodwill a copy of Just So Stories. I love, love, love Rudyard Kipling. Um, sometimes he is just goofy. And then I have something like, like Captain, oh, you can't see it. Captain's Courageous. That is a very serious book and not something that you would expect from Rudyard Kipling at all. But I thought that I would pick this up. Um, he is a Victorian era author. And so uh, I thought that maybe I might read a story or two out of here for the short story prompt for Victober if I, if I feel like it. It's not on my TBR for Victober, but I might feel like it. And then also I found at Goodwill a copy of the first book in the Dark Tower series. This is The Gunslinger. And there, that's better. Now you can see it. And it says used on the side. I will see if I can't get all the little stickers off and everything, but I have never read The Dark Tower. And Leslie from The Nerdy Narrative absolutely loves this series. So I thought that I would start it. I would try it. I'm not a huge Stephen King fan, <laughs> but I do like some of his shorter stories, uh, like the one that Stand By Me is based on. I really like that one. What's it called? Something about a body. Anyway, but yeah, I picked up The Gunslinger, first book in The Dark Tower. And then I found three Willa Cather books. And I actually really love Willa Cather. I love her writing, but I only own My Antonia. That's the only one that I own. And so I wanted to pick up these three because they're, they're beautiful copies. And, um, and I, didn't, I didn't own any of them. So I have collected stories and this is the, says cover design by Susan Mitchell. And so this is a Random House Vintage Classics. Um, 
and that is Collected Stories. And then I also have O Pioneers, which is part of My Antonia, the trilogy of My Antonia. Uh, I think the other one is Lark something, and I don't have that one. So another vintage classics from Random House. And then also one of ours by Willa Cather, also a vintage classics from Random House. This one is on my Victober TBR. I ordered this specifically for Victober because I read about it and I was extremely intrigued. And that is Trilby. This is by Georges de Maurier. And this is said to have partially inspired Phantom of the Opera and also the Trilby hat. And he was very well respected in his day. He just kind of got eclipsed by Daphne. All right, so that was one thrift books find. And this is the reason why I'm not too happy with it because it wasn't supposed to have any damage and it's got a big kind of rip off the spine. I, I'm really looking forward to this. Can't wait to read that. And then this is the other one that I'm really not happy with um, from Thrift Books. It's an old library copy, which is usually fine, but it has major stickers that there's no way I can get these off without actually ripping because this is printed right on the hardback. And so all of these stickers everywhere are impossible to get off without ruining the book. But this is The Adventures of Jimmy McGee, and this is an Eleanor Estes book. And my kids loved Eleanor Estes, and I have grandbabies. I have mostly grandsons, and I know that they're gonna love The Adventures of Jimmy McGee. So I got that for them. And then I picked up Melissa Harrison's Among the Barley. I will probably be reading this in November um, because it feels very uh, late October, early November to me. And I love Melissa Harrison's writing. Uh, it is a nonfiction. It's, it's literally just about walks that she takes and her nature writing, basically. And then I also picked up, oh, did I? I forgot. These are also from Thrift Books and another one that I was disappointed with. So I, I got two Hartwood Hotels. Um, in, there's a, it's a series of four, and I got two of them. I got the first two. And again, it's because my granddaughter is learning to read, and I thought she would really love these but I don't know that I'm going to send this one because look at this, you guys, look. That's horrible, horrible. So anyway, Thrift's Books has let me down a few times recently. This one, on the other hand, looks fabulous. Has a little sticker on the back, but I don't care. And so these are both, this is a true home and this is the greatest gift. So this is autumn and this is winter. I picked up Early Candlelight by Maud Hart Lovelace. Maud Hart Lovelace is the one that wrote the Bessie, Betsy Tacy Tibb series. And um, I love those books. I read all of them years ago and I have reread them since. I just really enjoy revisiting them. And I had not heard of Early Candlelight. And so I am planning to uh, pick this up very soon, probably uh, November or December, and reading this one as well. It says, Life at Old Fort Snelling, a novel. So I don't know anything about it, 
but like I said, love, mod heart, loveless. So, and then I have a copy of The Snow Child. This is by Eowyn Ivy, and uh, I picked this up because I had been considering reading it, and then Dave from Book Blather uh, picked up a copy recently, and he said that he was reading or was considering reading it. And so I think that the two of us may try to read this in December together. This one I have already read, but I love this book. I love this story. It's absolutely fabulous. This is A Gentleman in Moscow by Amor Towles or Moscow. <laughs> I live in Idaho and we have a Moscow Idaho and it's spelled the exact same way. So I always have to think about this. So A Gentleman in Moscow and this is by Amor Tolls. And this is one of the most endearing war stories ever. I was not expecting to even like this when I picked it up. I picked it up because a friend actually not even a friend. It was something that I heard about on a podcast and the man on the podcast actually said, this is uh, one of the best books that I've read in a long time. And he didn't say a whole lot about it. That was basically it. And I thought, fine, I'm going to see. I, let me just check for myself. And, um, I'm so glad that I did. I absolutely loved this story. It was so wholesome. And in a time of war, that's just not something I was used to. So anyway, that one. I'm so happy to own it. Um, I picked up this next one just simply because I haven't read a whole lot by this author. What I have read, I love. And that is the Harper Hall Trilogy by Anne McCaffrey. And I, Anne McCaffrey was, I'm not sure she's still alive, a prolific author. And I know that some of her series are problematic with the way that they treat women, with the attitude toward girls and women and society, in society. And so I it was hesitant to pick up anything else. But again, this was 25 cents. And so I picked up Freedom's Landing by Anne McCaffrey. And I know nothing about this, but I seriously loved the Harper Hall trilogy so much. Uh, and it's more of a middle grade young adult series. I would say more like young end of young adult. So maybe 15, 16 in there all the way up till 1920 um, as far as ages go. And the the it's three books i just absolutely loved it it's endearing to me it, it's nostalgic now um and so i really want to love other stuff by ann mccaffrey so i'm picking up freedom's landing and we will see uh, and then the i think the last book haul that i showed you I had bought through like second sale or maybe discover books. Um, I picked up Curtis Craddock's An Alchemy of Masks and Mirrors, and I haven't read it yet, but Leslie from the Nerdy Narrative loved it so much that I just couldn't help myself. I, have, I had to pick up a copy of it. Well, I was at the library sale the other day and I found the second book 
in the series. This is A Labyrinth of Scions and Sorcery by Curtis Craddock. Neither one of the, the uh, books, Neither one of them have a um, dust jacket on it. So that actually works out pretty well because, you know, I think that this one is an ex-library copy and I think this one was donated and it just doesn't have a dust jacket. But when I saw it, I was like, mine. All right. Last two, you guys. I picked up, I haven't been on BookTube for very long, so you probably don't know this about me, but I grew up on a ranch, but it was also a farm. And so my grandparents, uh, we had an orchard, we had uh, berries and a big vegetable garden, and we also kept bees. And our, um, we also had a neighbor who had so many bees that he actually had a honey business. And we, we called him the bee man. And I, I just am fascinated with bees, just in general. And so I picked this up, the bee. A Natural History. This is by Noah Wilson Rich. And uh, it goes through all these different kinds of bees and it is so well done. I am just so excited to get into this. Look at this, Islam, Judaism, Christianity. It takes you through a history of different times an economic force. It's just, and it's one of those, whoop, sorry, it closed when I lifted it, but it's just one of those floppy paperbacks, you guys. It's the best. Goes through the hives. Oh, I'm just so excited. So I think I'm gonna pick this up in nonfiction November. And then finally, I found this um, before Victober, before I knew that it was going to be a prompt for Victober. And I'm so happy that it ended up being one. Um, one of the prompts for Victober is poetry. And I am going to be reading this. This is Sound the Deep Waters, Women's Romantic Poetry in the Victorian Age. And it's mainly Christina Rossetti. And it also has some Dante Gabriel Rossetti in it. It also has some Brontes and it has Lizette Wordsworth, who I think is the daughter of Henry Wordsworth. I'm not positive about that, but I think that's right. There's some George Eliot poetry in here, Emily Dickinson poetry, but it is mainly Christina Rossetti. And then it is also accompanied by some of Dante Gabriel's beautiful um, artwork and some of the others that were in Dante Gabriel's uh, circle. Sorry, I keep trying to avoid the sunlight. And I'm just, I just love this. I just thought it was so neat. So I'm gonna work on trying to get this Mylar cover off because I can't get the, can't get the stickers and stuff off otherwise. But anyway, that's it. I am really looking forward to diving into some of these very soon. So thanks for joining me today. I really love uh, getting to chat with you down in the comments. So if there's anything here that you guys are looking forward to reading, I would love to know. 
and I would love to maybe join you in a buddy read or in uh, if if it fits into a um, prompt for an upcoming readathon that I don't know about, please let me know. And yeah, I hope that you guys are having a wonderful September so far and that you're enjoying your readathons, that you are enjoying your books. And I will see you in the next video. Like if you liked it, subscribe if you want to. Bye everyone.